starting off at Putt Lake today, and my first lap around the lake, I saw one of the juvenile bald eagles, and it was eating breakfast. It was munching on either a sunny or a bluegill, so I got a ton of shots of that, and after it finished, it started repositioning itself on the stick, and I got some shots of it with its wings out, which was really cool, and the lighting wasn't great, but I made it work. I got some shots of it looking straight at me, which I love getting. Uh, it was just overall a very beautiful encounter. I spent about 30 minutes taking pictures of it and it noticed me, but it accepted me. So there was no issues there. It's the next morning, we're back on Putt Lake. I woke up extra early today, got here at 6.30 and it paid off because I saw two swans sleeping on the water and the light just peeked over the tree line and it was this orange fiery light on the water because all the fog was rolling in. It was so cool. I got pictures of the swan's breath. I got pictures of them sleeping. I got a lot of pictures of ruddy ducks and the, like the firelight. It was so cool. I really have to start waking up earlier every morning because I usually get here at like eight and I have to get here at 6.30 because it really does pay off. pulled up to the eagle nest not too long ago and I sat there for a couple minutes and right as I was leaving the female eagle flew to the nest and landed and then it quickly left and it's perched on a different tree so I'm snapping a couple shots of it this eagle is so big I watched her for a couple minutes but she ended up taking off probably to go get some food for the babies so I'll check in on the nest later when I got to Putt Lake this morning I drove by the tree that all the bald eagles like to chill in and I saw something in it, but it looked too small to be an eagle, so I sort of just drove by. But like an hour later, uh, I came back and I wanted to check out what it was, and it was actually an osprey, which is awesome. I've never seen one in the wild. It's my first time taking pictures of one. So I got a couple shots of it and it ended up taking off, but I forgot to turn my shutter speed up, so I sort of messed that up, but that's okay. I got some cool shots of it perched. Today's actually April 8th, which is eclipse day but unfortunately I never got a filter for my camera so I can't take pictures of it, but that's fine. I'm just gonna observe. I did think about driving all the way upstate to like Niagara Falls. It would be five hours or six hours, but it kind of spooked me. There's gonna be so many tourists and so many people, probably so much traffic. So I, I decided not to do that. I think I'm happy with that decision. I do have some glasses to view it with, so I'm excited for that. For those of you who are new here, my name's Spencer Barra. I'm a wildlife photographer based in New York. I'm 24 years old, and I've been taking pictures for eight to nine years now. I'm really trying to hit 100 subscribers. If you could help me out, that would be great. It's a big goal of mine. I wanna continue growing, continue making these videos. So it would be great if you guys supported me. Something I've been working on a lot recently is getting out of the box I put myself in. I find myself taking the same shots of the same animals every day sticking to 600 millimeters. I'm never zooming out. I'm not doing anything different. So recently I've been zooming out, getting my brain moving, taking different pictures, different compositions. And I think it's really important when you're taking wildlife pictures to tie the animal to the environment. Because otherwise you just see this animal with a blurry background and it's the same thing over and over again. But when you zoom out and you show where it is, what it's doing, it's definitely a more meaningful picture and it will move more people. It's currently 5.47 a.m. I woke up bright and early because we're heading to a new spot and we got a little bit of a drive. We're going to the State Line Lookout in New Jersey. It's right on the border of New Jersey, New York, and it goes along the Hudson River. Uh, there are these like crazy cliffs and apparently there's eagles, hawks, falcons, and I really want to take a picture of a peregrine falcon. So hopefully we get that done today and I'll see you guys there. We made it, it's absolutely beautiful here. We got the sun rising, these crazy cliffs, and I hear bird activity all over, so let's get to it. It's 
say I'm surprised, but I'm really not. There are six other photographers here. We were all standing right next to each other, taking pictures of the same falcon. We spotted two. There was the female perched. When we spotted the male, it flew away from us to a different tree, but then it came back like two minutes later with a bird to feed the female. So that was really cool. And they actually made it, so I got pictures of them mating. Some really nice shots. I'm really happy. This is like the best case scenario. So I'm gonna stay here for a couple more hours and hopefully get more shots of them. by I haven't been recording much because I'm just around people a lot some really nice people they've been giving me good tips but the male and female mated I think three more times so I got a ton of shots of that they also did a food transfer which I did not get a good shot of um, but the male dropped the female fish in midair and she caught it very cool and the male caught a couple birds for her so really cool time definitely gonna come back here and for now I'm just walking down the road and I'm gonna see if I spot anything else. The lighting's obviously very harsh now, it's 10.30 a.m. And this whole day I've been struggling a lot with blowout and overexposure. So when I get home, I'm gonna do a lot more research because during these cool moments that don't happen too often, you really wanna nail the shots. And if your settings are messed up, you're not gonna nail the shots. So I need to do more research and figure out what I was doing wrong and how to fix it. Just finished up at the spot. I had an amazing time. It was so cool seeing these birds in person. I've only seen pictures of them. So to get my own pictures of them was really special. And to capture pictures of them mating was something I did not expect. I was just hoping to see one. And we ended up seeing two. And I got pictures of them mating, feeding, close-ups, and even the food transfer, which wasn't a good shot, but I still showed you guys. The whole spot in general is so cool because you have these crazy clips and then you got the Hudson River below you, the city skyline, and then a bridge. The whole scene is breathtaking. If anyone plans on coming here, make sure to plan ahead and come during the week because apparently on the weekends, it's insane. And there's like 30 photographers, everyone's here, it's crowded. So luckily I went during the week and it was awesome. I got here nice and early. There, there was still like five or six photographers, which is a little crazy, but we made it work. We all gave each other space. So now the plan is to just head home go through all the pictures, edit them, start editing the video, and I'm sure I'm gonna go back to Putt Lake and try to spot some eagles. I'm here at the bird feeder, got my camera on the monopod. I'm hearing a lot of activity. There's a lot of birds out right now. It's a little overcast and rainy, so I have to shoot at a really low shutter speed to not have my ISO be too high, but we're gonna make it work. Not too long ago, a black-capped chickadee flew right above my head on one of those branches and just looked down at me. It was the most curious bird I've ever seen. It stood there for probably 15 seconds. I almost thought it was going to fly to my hand. Like, I put my hand out and I thought it was going to do it, but it didn't. But all the birds here are very curious. They don't mind me. They come right up to me, so it's very cool. You can really tell it's spring now. It's a lot warmer than it was last week, and look at all this greenery.
I've been here for about 45 minutes now, and this this spot is flooded with black cap chickadees. I know they're very common, but it's like all I'm seeing. Other than that, I've seen a couple blue jays, tufted titmouse, white-throated sparrow, and a bunch of song sparrows. And these black cap chickadees, like I was saying before, they just come right up to me. Like they have no fear at all. They're very timid. This spot I put the bird feeder in is really, really good. Not only are there a bunch of birds, but the background is really nice right now due to it being spring and there's just so many different colors and because the background's farther away from my subject, it really blurs the background and gives it a nice clean look. Just finished up with the bird feeder. I'm gonna end the video here. So if you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your favorite part. And also let me know in the comments below which one of the pictures from this video is your favorite. So stay tuned for the next one and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.